Okay. <laughs> it has been about 48 hours mm -hmm. since we engaged in float therapy. Let's go back. Looking back, what were we feeling going into it? Intense fear. So it's supposed to feel like you're like not alive, I would say, is the closest I could describe. That sounds... <laughs> Pretty An hour is such a long time. I don't often leave myself too much time alone with my thoughts mm -hmm. because I have never wanted to. I heard it's like being on drugs, like on shrooms, and you hallucinate and you see things in the dark, which sounds it's probably the scariest thing, I think. That sounds amazing. What do you mean that sounds amazing? The way you described it before was that you're dead. No, but I mean like... <laughs> now it yeah, sounds like you're gonna be super alive. But I think it's that like you're I'm half dead, for. half alive. That's what I'm gonna say. Isn't that what we always are? And to the void. I mean, this doesn't really look that friendly. If that's what the void looks like, it looks like the upside down from Stranger <gasps> Things. That's what we're doing right now. But the Demogorgon. Ready? <laughs> yes! <Okay>. Go! Yes. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> no way. Hi. I feel very yeah. calm right now. I also feel pretty calm. It was funny because, like, as I was like locking my phone to put it in my bag, I accidentally pressed the notes app, saw my to do list, and I was oh, like, no. uh, because I have a million things left to do for today. So I was just like, throw the phone away, let's float. And I did. <laughs> I floated. We floated! <laughs> Woo! We survived. We did. Floating. That was my so best case class. scenario. And it happened. Entering it, I definitely did it in stages. So I started with the lid wide open and the lights on. And I just kind of floated. And then I slowly, then I tried it with the thing closed. And I was still liking it. You're actually floating. I don't know. That's a weird thing to say. But I, you push yourself from side to side and it feels like you're like have no gravity. It was really cool. I was kind of nervous that if I didn't get right into it, I wouldn't maybe get the full experience that I wanted for myself. So basically right after I got out of the shower, I like hopped in the pod, I closed the lid, turned off the lights, turned off the music and just floated. I like really went all in, you know, like Literally. Yeah, I, the lights were off, there was no music, there's nothing separating me from the water, and I think I felt that pretty fast. I don't know, I was like kind of trying to figure out what happy means, you know? Yeah. Like, it's hard, because I was in the tank, which is pretty much like all you have is like how you actually feel, since you can't, you don't have the sensation of touch, so it's how you internally feel. You really did think a lot. I, I thought you fell asleep. I did it all. I was awake the entire time and I think like the most of what I thought was like, that's a nice color. <laughs> and like, what am I gonna do after I get out of here? Oh my God. I'm hungry, I was hungry at one point. At one point I was like, oh, wish this came with some food. <laughs> I was proud of myself that I was scared going into it to find out deep truths about myself but I still tried to get introspective anyways. Would you do it again? Oh yeah, I would do it again. I'd do it again. Would you do it again? She's nodding, she says yes. So yeah. Yeah. I'm happy we did it. Me too. Thank you, Spence Immerse Wellness Spa and Spence.